Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at a piece of software that I did a review back on uh, some time ago. Uh, it was uh, version 1.7 back then, I think, and uh, we've got a new version of it here. Uh, it's called Sardu. You can actually get it from this website here, free download for you to actually build your PE discs or live CD discs, multi boot CD discs, as you can see there. Now, you can also do USB versions as well. Uh, the beta stages are all finished and if you come to the downloads tab here you can actually download the version 2.02c okay now this is a great piece of software and uh, I highly recommend it to people that likes to create their own CDs now all I do is I put a basically put an empty folder on there call it what you like I've called mine so I do version 2 and undo the zip file and put all the files in there Okay, now we can see there's a Sardu X64, which obviously means 64-bit. So I'm running a 64-bit here, so I'm going to click on that and basically open that up. So there you can see there's some ticks in there, and that's because I've put the ISO images already in the folder. Okay, if you look inside here, you'll see the ISO images in there. So on this version here for antiviruses you can actually click on these tabs here and it will actually download the antiviruses from there I think there's a, a problem with the uh, G data I'm not too sure but um, I think some of the others uh, do work so if you have a look here you can click on this and you can see eScan you'd have to fill that out and it will allow you to download that piece of software now once you've done that you're pretty much good to go really so if you wanted to create an antivirus CD you could do that by downloading all these like I've done here and then you can see the size of it here 1.74 gigabytes okay and that will allow us to put this onto a seed make a USB or put it onto a CD okay make an ISO image of it so either way you can either click that or click this okay it's got a much better user interface to look at as you can see uh, we've got um, a utility tab here if you click on there you can actually add in some of these as well now you can see I've got Heron's boot CD there if I wanted to add a few more I can do I mean I'm just doing this just to show you uh, but there is some good pieces of software that you can add uh, redo backup we've done a video on this uh, and we've done o OPH crack which is a sort of a password recovery software also clonezilla great piece of software there as well Trinity Rescue Kit, we've done some videos on that and also Ultimate Boot CD, another great piece of software. Uh, if you wanted to go down the live CD route, just make a CD or a USB stick with your live CDs, then you can do that also with this piece of software. You can download these types of um, software. You've got uh, Slacks, Puppy Linux, great, uh, great piece of kit that. Um, by all means, I'm not sure if the links work on these, I'll try it. Uh, we can click on that and it does it actually opens up to puppy linux site and you can just download that version that you need okay pretty simple and then once you've done that you're pretty much good to go there so let's close that off and uh, you can run that now you can actually build multi uh, boot cds as in you could you don't have to have all these versions of uh, virus scanners you could have just one or two of your favorites okay now vba rescue is a very good uh, piece of kit there and also uh, Kaspersky Rescue CD um, you could just have a couple of those and then also add in your utilities you could actually add in if you wanted to uh, Trinity Rescue Kit at that stage or Ultimate Boot CD if that floats your boat uh, redo backup depending on what you want to do okay and then you can also add in a version of uh, Linux I would suggest say Puppy Linux so it's nice and small okay and then you can go into your Windows CD and add in your Windows uh, types of disks. Uh, you've got your Win Recovery disks here, as you can see, XP, Vista, Vista 64, Windows 7, and so on. Okay, so here we have our Vista PE. You can actually put in your tick there for your Vista PE if you've got a version of it or uh, Windows 7 PE, which I have. I use these two as well, so I would be using that and also you've got Windows Live XP which you can actually get from my forums so you can actually put these in there okay Ultimate Boot CD for Win is another great piece of kit although it's not uh, as good with um, Windows 7 and stuff like that but it does work very well on XP versions so I would suggest uh, getting that as well and uh, putting all your plugins in there another piece of good software there 
okay so that is pretty much it for this video really all you need to do as I said is download these parts and put them in the same folder it's pretty it's pretty simple just come inside your ISO area and uh, put uh, put them in there and then build so let's have a little look let me just get a, an image uh, and then put it over there okay so I've got my uh, copies here that I want to add in now see I've got ultimate boot CD there so all I need to do is just cut and paste that inside this folder as simple as that and that will copy that into the folder now that's come into the ISO folder there that's all we need to do and basically Trinity Rescue CD I can actually put that in there as well and let's just have a little look I'm going to fire this up now now you won't see it actually on the screen yet because we need to restart it okay so you can see Trinity Rescue Kit is not got the tick in it so I'm going to shut that off and then restart it and pretty much once you've done that let's go to Windows which ones did I put in? OK, so there we go, Trinity Rescue Kit, the tick is now in there as you can see. And uh, Ultimate Boot CD for win I did as well. That's not come up. Now, as you can see there, you can actually see there's a, an actual command for to make it recognise that ISO image. So we could actually put uh, Ultimate CD5, which is on there. So let me just see if that works. So if I come in here and put, it's because this is an old version probably. I'm going to just rename this. And I'm just going to put that in there and just see if it recognises it now. And all we need to do is restart it. okay so let's have a little look utilities and now as you can see it's actually found it all it is doing is is because the actual command that is uh, the actual coding that he's put into the actual program is not recognized the actual uh, name of my ISO image that I had so all I've done is just renamed it to actually suit uh, what it's there to actually pick it up so again that's all you need to do really if you have problems it recognizing uh, again we've got some other ones here Windows Live CD so if you have a look at Windows XP Live CD as you can see Live XP that is the actual name that it wants so if I put in my program here now this as you can see Windows Live is wrong so I need to change this uh, Live CD or was it XP Live CD I can't remember now let me just have a little check of that first. Actually, forgot what that was. Okay, so it was Live XP. That's what it was called. Sorry about that. So what I need to do is put Live XP into the CD. Okay, change that to Live XP, and cut that and put that into the ISO folder, like so. And pretty much once I put that in there and I fire it up it will be okay so let's go back and then have a look at uh, Windows and there you can see live XP is actually been picked up so one more thing what I'll do is I'll do a Vista yeah and that is Vista PE basically so I'll just do this one and I'm just going to make this Vista PE like so and then cut and paste that into my ISO folder and it's as simple as that okay so now if I fire this up for the last time we will see all the images that I want now you can see that's only 2.45 gigabytes and uh, basically have a little look here now Ultra Boot CD is there Trinity Rescue Kit, Heron's Boot CD I haven't got no live uh, XP, uh, Linux lives there but I've got some Windows ones in here I've got XP and also Vista 
Okay, so not bad. I can actually add some more in there if I wanted to if I had more time, but I haven't. All I need to do now is click on this and it will make an ISO image. Okay, so I'm going to actually put that inside here. Uh, let me just... Um, let me just make a new... I'm going to call this... Just I'm going to call it done inside there. And away it goes. It's starting to create that ISO image now for the whole of them together. And I'll just let that carry on. You can see it illuminating green there. That means it's done. I shall pause the video. Pause the video at this stage. Okay, that's all the antivirus is done now. It's just going onto the utilities now, and it will just do Heron's boot CD and uh, Ultimate boot CD. Once it's done those, they will turn green. Now when they're greyed out like this it just means that you haven't got these ISO images there available. So it'll just do this live XP now and also the Vista PE. And that's pretty much all of that uh, image done. Or ISO I should say done. And then we can actually boot it up and see. Now we'll use a virtual box just to boot that up so you can see what it looks like when it's finished. There we go. It's just complete, completing everything now just let that finish off okay let's have a little look here I'll just pause now okay so that's now completed as you can see and what we're going to do it's called uh, sardu.iso on the desktop and basically what we'll do is close it off now you should go through this actually part here and just read all that but I haven't got time so let's have a little look okay there you can see inside the folder inside the Sardu V2 folder you can see there's the ISO image and it is uh, 2.11 gigabytes 2.2 gigabytes 0.11 so let's fire this up okay so that's the uh, Sardu ISO, ISO, ISO uh, selected there and I'm just gonna fire this up now and you'll get to see what it looks like hopefully it will be all okay Okay, there we have our actual menu now, menu tools, menu antiviruses, uh, utilities and Windows Live. So for argument's sake, if I went into uh, antivirus, you'll see all the antiviruses there. Okay, and uh, go back. If I went into uh, utilities, here in Boot CD and Trinity Rescue Kit, and also... Windows Live CDs uh, as you can see there all I need to do is just click on that Windows XP Live I'll do that one and yeah, as you can see it will load up pretty much as simple as that really so that's the actual software all installed and the CD seems to be working ok I can't fully check everything in video because it will take too long but I think you've got the general idea okay so that's nearly finished now as you can see this is my Windows Live CD all done so that's pretty much it for this video so thanks again for watching guys hope you enjoy these videos if you do enjoy these videos please remember show your support and hit that subscribe button and uh, also if you've got any problems there head over to the forums uh, the forums will be at the bottom of the screen now and you can head over to there post your problems up and I'll do my best to help you out okay thanks again for watching guys bye for now